Also, I answered the question a couple of times already, but um, um, I said it before it was pretty much the best second ball game um, we played since I'm together with the boys. We were really, we were really everyone, pretty much all the first balls, which is already difficult enough against Barnes and Wood. That's really, they do really well there. And then being around and have a good formation for the second ball, so it was just amazing using then the space a little bit for for immediate passing, trying to be quick in your decision making that we want to have direction as immediately. That was really good. Um, and it's not the only thing what Burnley is doing, obviously. They have these early crosses, they, 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 they play then uh, three, four, five passes to prepare an early cross, and there you have to be there as well. Then they chip the balls in behind from different positions. The last line, I don't know how often Burnley was today in off offside, it was brilliant. Um, how we did that, how we adapted in these situations. And apart from that, then we, we played really good. It's a 4-4-2 system. Against a 4 2 system, it's really difficult. Um, if you are not quick, if your passes have no real direction, and you, then you play in their cards pretty much because of that. The formation is brilliant, and the fullback is under pressure from the winger. The six can close the gap and stuff like this. Um, and immediately, you have no real situation which can create kind of a momentum. And we work on all of the first half completely in... in um, Kind of fluent, but as much as you can without creating massively. But we had, of course, our moments. Scored then, uh, uh, okay, of course, a bit of a lucky goal, but um, um, I think it still deserved that we were one nil up. And, and um, yeah, second goal, brilliant, just brilliant, um, winning the ball, and again, really quick decision making, uh, directly offers, and then the super pass, Bobby, super finish, Sadio, third goal, brilliant. Control the game um, as much as you can because it's just it all each set piece is a massive threat, massive, and um, each ball without pressure. And Pope can play them, and me can play them, and Tarkovsky can play them, and any midfielder can play them. And when the two wingers can cross, it's just difficult. So the boys, it was only the last ten minutes when I when I was when I thought, okay, that's um, that's not really different to all the other games we had here. Before that, I never felt like it's done already, but um, the boys did the job, so brilliant, really good. Yeah, because the television images showed uh, Sadio Mane getting very upset on, on the bench. I know you said it wasn't to do with the substitution. Do we know what he was upset about? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good, eh? Um, yeah, he was upset. That's all, that was obvious. Yeah? Sadio cannot hide his emotions. I like that. Um, but um, all sorted. We spoke about it. Everything is fine. We are, we are individuals. We are emotional. It was a situation in the game, obviously. But what else could happen? It was not a phone call. So um, it was a situation in the game. He was not happy about, and that's then completely fine. Yeah. Would he do it exactly the same manner again? Probably not. But it happened. So it's nothing happened. He didn't um, say any wrong words. So it just looked a little bit um, different uh, to what how he looks usually. For me, of course, I can understand that's a, that's a little story. Thank God we are now away for, for a week, so if you write something about it, we will not read it anyway. Um, and after a week, nobody can remember it anymore, so it's really cool, cool moment to do it. It's, but it's all good, really. Uh, all fine. Anything else, Chris? Yeah, yeah. Another point back on the game being I don't feel proud in the moment, to be honest, but I'm happy that, it, that it's um, because these records are all they ever are. I'm not sure it's, it's really nice, but we don't go for these records. But we, you know, you were probably in the press conference when I spoke about it that this team, that this team um, creates, uh, wants to write their own stories and they want, wants to create their own history, and they are doing and doing and doing. So that's it. Look, you can. That's one is a number, 13 games in a row. The other thing is in the 13th game of that series, showing the attitude the boys showed today, that makes it that makes it all. So you have to show um, respect to all opponents, and the boys do that with the attitude. They bring in the pain. Come on, so much pressure on the opponent again. So difficult for Burnley to do exactly what they want to do. They still can do it from time to time, but then we are there and defend it. We put speed in the game. We, we put really so. so we are creative. There are so many different things in the game, and still space for improvement, which is cool. But um, so for the first part of the season, the very first part of the season, now um, I said it before, if somebody would have asked me f four weeks ago if I if I think that's possible, I would say that ah, probably not. And now it happened. So now we have to pray and hope again that they all come back healthy. 
And then the, the, the most intense period of the season starts already. I think in September we have five away games and one home game. Interesting, but th that's, I think that's the case. So we have to travel a lot and, um, and, and, and to be spot on and hopefully healthy and, and fresh and all that stuff. So good start. So far, so good. That's it.